Yo, what's up, dudes? <laughs> What is up? Well, we are back with this beast of a guitar. As the guitar of the week, we have here a Wild Audio Blood Eagle. Of course, it's not just an eagle. It's a, it's a blood eagle. <laughs> and uh, you, as you can tell, the eagle, I'm assuming from the the headstock beak there it looks kind of like a like an eagle beak and um, you know obviously it's an explorer body but they have to do things like this down here and, and this down here so the the Gibson people don't come calling saying hey you kind of stole our shape but uh, it's not an explorer it's an eagle it's a Blood Eagle. So these are mahogany body. It's a three-piece uh, maple neck. It's a little tricky to see in person, but on camera you can see it's definitely three pieces. Three different, three distinct pieces. Um, it is a satin on the back. The whole body is gloss except the back of the neck. This is sort of a Zach Wild thing where he has them do a different finish on the back of the neck, but the rest of the guitar is gloss. So it's, the whole thing is gloss except the back of the neck, which is satin. It is a set neck. It is an ebony fingerboard filled with these jumbo block inlays. As you can see, I'm sure that they're acrylic. And um, uh, feels like jumbo frets. I didn't see anything about stainless steel frets. So I am going to assume that uh, that these are, let me just double check right here. Um, yeah, no, regular frets, no stainless steel frets. As far as I can see, blah, 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 blah. You know, if it's stainless steel frets, they usually make a point of pointing that out, right? 14-inch uh, fretboard radius. It's a 24.6-inch scale. A little weird. 24.6. Um... I usually think of 24.75, 25.5, I've even seen 25 even, but 24.6 is a, is a new number. I don't remember seeing that before, uh, but that's the scale. I think it's a little bit shorter uh, to make the, the strings a little, a little slinkier. Um, that's, he's probably playing a much thicker set of strings than I am. Uh, it's a tusk. Uh, not it is Grover tuners. Uh, it's a Tone Pros Tunematic uh, bridge and tail piece, um, which I think I love that they're in this like flat black. Now I've seen, um, you know, I've seen uh, the uh, bridge and tail piece, and obviously in like a chrome, a black chrome, smoked chrome. They make everything. Um, <clears throat> or normally it would be sort of like a semi-gloss, right? Uh, but they say it's satin. I'd say that's flat. I'd say that's even flatter than satin. I'd say that's a flat black, not a satin black. And uh, EMG uh, 81 in the, um, you know, in the bridge and an 85 in the neck. It is a three-way switch. Um, the controls are a master tone uh the bridge volume the neck volume uh personally i would have reversed those because i'm mostly on the bridge 
and I want the, you know, I want the bridge pickup closest to my hand. But I, I could see where he thought this is, you know, that, and this is this, right? And they're moving down and away. I, I, I sort of get it, but personally, I would have reversed them. <laughs> Get it on this camera a little better. This guitar is so damn big. Um, what else can I tell you about it? I, I love the headstock. And this sort of like 3D look of it. I think that looks amazing. And uh, I do appreciate the large block inlays. Very easy to see. Um, this guitar was, I think, a uh, scratch and dent. It's got a dent on the bottom of it. It was marked a scratch and dent um, when I got it. And uh, so you can't... Obviously, yours wouldn't have the same dent. Um, I think that obviously every turn... Um, it has this killer uh, quilt maple top. I don't believe it is a top. I believe it is a veneer. And what gives it away is that they, you know, around the edge, they, they paint so that you don't see the bevel because that would give it away. All right. And I don't want to do that. So I, that tells me it's a quilt. I mean, it's a, um, it's a veneer, but that's fine. They, you know, for the kind of money, if you wanted this to be a solid quilt top, you, you're probably talking close to five grand. All right, <laughs> versus under fifteen hundred, which is what these go for. I think they're like thirteen and change or so. So um, there's no way they could do it with a, sol a solid quilt maple top for that kind of money. Um, what else can I tell you about it before we get into the pickups? Um, not much. I'll, I'll show you the back here real quick. See it? Oh yeah, right down there. Maybe here or over, over right there. Right there. Oh, there you are. Up here. Yeah, there you go. The, th the thing is, it, it's enormous. It, it, it is a beast of a guitar. Um, the neck, while we're still talking about uh, the specs, um, I would call this a, they call it a Zach C. I would say it's a little bit bigger than a modern C. Now, maybe not quite as big as the super chunky, like, vintage Gibson stuff. Um, I think it's a little smaller than that. Um... I would say it's sort of in between. It's like it's in between a 50s and a 60s Gibson. Somewhere in between those two. Um, not quite as thin as my Gibson 60s like style neck on the, the slim taper that's on the... Um, that's on uh, my Les Paul uh, Classic. Um, but I have certainly played uh, chunkier necks than this. I think even the Les Paul... Uh, 50s or the Les Paul traditional uh, both have a little bit a larger neck than what this has. So definitely a little bit uh, moderated from those extremes. Which is a good thing because you want to you appeal to more people. You can't go to the extremes. Alright, let's, uh, let's check out these pickups a little bit. This is the... <laughs> This is both pickups. Thank you. 
let's switch over to a clean sound. People always want to hear it clean, and we can do that. Make sure I get my voice here. Yeah, there, there it goes. Um, hmm. Where is my clean? Right there. <laughs> Obviously, this is the bridge. pickups. switch over to I like to do the behave lead it's kind of a Marshall ever guitar made for dual heavy rig it's this one
Let's go back from where we started. <laughs> turn into a 40 minute video if I don't start raining it in. <laughs> um, first time I've tried a Wild Audio guitar. It is a beast of a guitar. Uh, it's over the top on everything. Over the top on size. It's kind of got some weight to it. I wouldn't say it's the heaviest guitar I've ever played. In fact, I think my old Ash Strat is probably heavier. But it's up there. You know, uh, weight varies from guitar to guitar. It's a meaningless statistic, so I don't weigh guitars any longer. But, um, you know, this is on the heavier side from, you know, guitars I've recently reviewed here on Guitar of the Week. Um, so it's it's definitely, and, and again, it's just big. This guitar is, is friggin', I was having trouble getting it on, ca like this one, I have to turn it to the side to even get it on the camera. If I go straight onto the camera, it's like, it, it, it does not fit. <laughs> it's a... It, this thing is a beast. It's, it's an enormous guitar. So if you're a big guy and you're looking for, a, you know, a guitar that it doesn't look like a toy on you, this is what I think, uh, you know, guys like Paul Gilbert with his very large guitar. That was another guitar that was just enormous. I could not believe how big that guitar was. It's because he's a tall guy and he doesn't want to look like he's holding a toy. And the same with Zach Wilde. Zach Wilde's a big guy. You know, he's a tall guy, and he's you know he's a workout guy. He's, you know he, he's he's got some some heft to him. Right? And he's not heavy, but you know what I'm saying. He, he's he's a big dude, and uh, you know he doesn't want a guitar that looks like a little toy on him. So I, I'm sure that w was a part of the you know reasoning in, in designing the you know the guitars to make it look uh, you know somewhat normal considering his somewhat oversized uh, you know body uh, shape. The um, you know, so the thing is just over the top all the way. Between the EMGs and, you know, the um, the oversized block inlays, the giant size of the guitar, uh, just everything from head to toe just feels like, uh, you know, everything taken to, to the max. <laughs> it's wild to the max. Yeah. And again, let me just show you the back one more time. There you go. Right there, maybe down on this camera here, yeah. It's a really a beautiful quilt. I mean, obviously it's a veneer. Um, there's no way they're doing this for, for that kind of money for under 1500 bucks with a, with a solid quilt top. It's just not gonna happen. But, uh, you know, um, it, it's still a nice touch. I think it looks good. If you don't like the look of the veneer, if you want something, um, you know, a little bit more uh, simple and uh, dark, they just make a, a flat black top that looks amazing. Uh, same thing with the Blood Eagle. And you save a little bit of money because I don't have to go through the step of putting the veneer on and, and staining it and, and painting everything and getting it all tidy, you know, painting the edge and all that. It's just like literally black on, on wood. And it looks nice. It's, it's a simpler design. So, again, I'll leave links in the description. You can check out uh, more of the... Uh, wild audio blood eagle. I, I get the eagle part. That looks like an eagle beak if I ever saw one. But the, where's the blood? <laughs> Come on. I expect a certain realism from my titles. Um, but yeah, the whole thing from head to toe has just been, uh, you know, I, I, I would say an experience. <laughs> this thing, it's like, 
Oh, you know you're playing guitar when you got one of these in your hands. This thing is a beast. Uh, but I like it. You know, I got to say, it's so different from any of my other guitars. And um, I haven't had a ton of Explorer shapes down here. I forget how much I like the shape. And, you know, obviously they have to make some changes to keep Gibson from, you know, you know, curve this down and, you know, make it a little bit different. But, you know, let's face it, it's still an Explorer for the most part. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, a, a classic style, if you will. All right. I will leave uh, links in the description uh, for more information, give you the pricks, uh, uh, specs and the pricing and uh, everything else, and there you go. The Wild Audio Blood Eagle is the guitar of the week. All right, dudes, as always, thanks so much for hanging out and rock on.